Hello everybody, welcome back to Padfoot TD Games. My name is Zach, I'm the voice behind the icon, and today we are back once again in Red Dead Redemption 2. Very excited to be back. What were we doing is my question. Oh, we had to bring her back to Valentine. Right, that's what the last thing we did. And then we got ourselves some new clothes. Let's see... No, we got ourselves some new clothes. We... What did we do last time? Actually, don't even know. But we got Hosea here. We got Javier over here. Now, uh, we got to save Micah. Well, <coughs> I definitely don't want to do any of that. <laughs> um, hmm. Let us... Uh, let's go check on Hosea. Why not? But hope you guys are having a good day. I know that I am. I'm gonna have a big dinner here. Danielle's gonna been busting her butt the last Hello couple there. days to get some. Why did you put yourself there, Apollo? Why did you do this? Why do you do these things? Uh, but yeah, she's been busting her butt the last couple days to get our Thanksgiving, not on Thanksgiving, dinner ready. Um, so it's happening today, which is exciting. And then she finally gets to take a break to go back to work. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's head on out. <coughs> so his is a business opportunity. I know that there's a stranger in town. Let's see. Whoa. Always right after we start, it just starts to save. Always ask us that. It's such weird timing. Let's get ourselves out towards Emerald Ranch. I honestly can't remember what we did last episode, to be honest. I know we were in town, we bought ourselves new stuff, but... Why? Why is my question. I'm trying to figure out what could his new business opportunity be. Because I don't actually know if I went with his mission or not. I think last time I was just really on the story side of everything. Look at that mane go. A little mohawk going on. When we get some extra money, I'm going to want to grow out that mane. I like long manes, so... I'll keep that. Deer, you get to live another day. If I was going back the other direction, you'd be dinner. But, uh... Take that as a blessing. <laughs> yeah, okay, boy. It's one of those things. Had about a week off um, from work, and now I've got to sit here and Contemplate going back to work tomorrow, so yay on that. It's just in the holidays especially, it's like so hard to get the motivation to go back to work. <laughs> it's only a couple weeks though. So. There we go. Oh. Hey! Need a hand with your horse? Sounds good. Oh! <laughs> Shit. You okay? Are you sure you're okay? Well, I'm gonna leave you because I don't want people thinking that it was me, but, uh... <clears throat> never turn your back to a horse. Yep. In case anybody's wondering how that goes. Alright, I wanted to go and inspect this fire up here. Just to see. Load up. Uh, let's see. I don't know if they're going to be friend or foe, to be honest. Because we keep on running into the O'Driscolls, which has been very much inconvenient. Okay, there's plenty of rocks. Hey there, Alright. We will. Is your horse laying down? It is. That's actually really nice. Nice detail. The name's William. Arthur. You familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I use. <laughs> well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see... There are thousands, maybe millions of plants. 
all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all. To know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. All I'm right. only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, huh? kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. That's fair. All right. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. Okay. Do I already have some? I already grabbed some, didn't I? I did. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Okay. Oh, yeah. I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. And you know just by the taste. You've huh. been helpful. Thank you. You're a horseman, I know. You'll want to have this on hand. Save it for bad injuries. Heaven okay. forbid your horse is in trouble. You'll be glad you had it. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. All right, I'll you do that. Our next meeting, traveler. <clears throat> All right, well, we'll pick plants as we go. Why not? It's fine by me. Say hello to your horse on the way by. Just just pat it, Arthur. That's all you got to do. Easy. You're all right. Appaloosa. Very nice. All right, go back to our own horse. He's getting jealous. I have a dog the same exact way. Equal attention cake. Off we go. <coughs> all right, well, that worked out. Not that I don't mind a good gun battle every once in a while, but it was... Oh, there was some right there, too. Um, but I, I do gotta say, I do appreciate just being able to sit and talk to the people of this world. It's very nice. Alright, let's get ourselves back on the road. Also, I think it's because I'm just so engraved in my head. I always stay on the trail. Very rarely will I go out from it. Some more smoke up ahead. Do we go check it out? Why not? Wait, is the whole thing on fire? Easy now. Easy. Pronghorn. It's okay. It's okay. Do I have anywhere to hide, though? They see me. Yeah, horse. There is a horse. I want to talk to the people. Welcome sign around here. Go on with you. Get out of my sight now. Trying to just defuse it. Alright. Alright, you wanna be dicks? We'll let you be dicks. I'll be on my way. Not gonna be quick about it. Ain't got no time to teach all you Peckerwoods respect. And then I start then I pulled out my gun. Yeah, don't do that. Don't be an asshole. You do it, you become an asshole, you're gonna get shot. A little bit of Kentucky bourbon. And see what you got. I have to work on getting our, our uh, <laughs> honor up, that's for sure. There we go. I don't really need some bread. We'll cremate them then. Give them an honorable burial <clears throat> for being a dick. Yep. This taught you anything. Don't be a dick. I need more provisions. Yikes. That's something to keep an eye on. I'm gonna stop the store at some point. Looks like a storm's rolling in. At least it'll wash the blood off of our shoulder. So I'll take that as an absolute win.
Okay. Ella jumped off the bed with a combination of falling off the bed, and I think she just landed on her face, so hence that, all that noise in the background. <laughs> Why aren't you coordinated? I trust you with my life. Alright, well that storm that I thought was brewing has very quickly dissipated. Of course, I'm going to ride by this guy with a completely bloodied shoulder. How you doing? Alright, let's see what our business opportunity here out here in Emerald Ranch is. Over here. Isn't this where you meet the fence? An interesting way of putting it, James. Yeah. No doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Oh, Jesus. Seamus, he's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he mm -hmm. likes it. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This okay. is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Shane. Yeah. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Oh, we still okay. coaches, right? I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, yep. he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survive that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. I like money. No, we ain't intimate no more. They'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. <laughs> <laughs> you heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> that's beautiful. All right. Let's go. Get that mark off our map. Come on, boy. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said All the right. just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Yikes. I wanted to hear what he had to say. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Kinda. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If Yet. the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. No, I just bought a new hat. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. Yikes. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used okay. to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds okay. worth a look around. I'm gonna say that seems like something to look into. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? Hey, hmm. let's keep it down now. We must be close. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. 
Slide on out. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I got my lot. Wait, can I? Yeah. Just in case, I want something a little bit quieter. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. I see. Oh, it's in the back. <clears throat> okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Head over, distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Do it in the daytime. Let's do it now. Do it now. Sure. If we're that confident, right, might as well do it now. Don't follow me. So I'm supposed to go into the house first, right? Come up over here. Oh! There's somebody buried back here. Okay, so we got ten bucks so far. <gasps> money clip, money clip, money clip, money clip. Eleven bucks. <clears throat> Come on. Okay, that's it. Let's see. Kentucky bourbon. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't really don't want to go upstairs, but there is a chest on the floor. Coin purse. Money clip. Come on. Still not enough. Yes. Let's see. I don't know which way to sneak out. How the hell am I supposed to get out of here? Let's see. Any spot that I can sneak out up upstairs. Can I go through the window? Damn it. Nope. I'm gonna have to try to sneak out the front because they're right there at the side. There we go. Run, 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 run. That worked out well. Yeah. I love how it's already hooked up to the horses, by the way. Money, 
Okay, we just wait. Come on, Jose. Come on. God, where are you? Are you stuck on something? Oh, it's right outside the barn. Come on. You done, Arthur? Yep. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. I'm already on it. Let's go. Got a feeling we're gonna have to be sh doing some shootouts, anyways. We must be able to go faster than this. Let's go. Yeah. Like you wouldn't hear all that? Yeah, there it is. Oh dear! Oh dear! Go go go! <laughs> Not before a screenshot, though. <clears throat> all right, so they got found out. I don't think there's really any way to avoid that, to be honest. Something like that. Go, 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 go. I'd rather go back without any bloodshed, to be honest. But I think that one's not up to us right now. Damn it. I think you should have been more careful. Yeah, sorry. Oh. Oh. Okay. I know, but <laughs> I didn't know I should have closed the stuff. This I guess I would have been more sneaky. Anyway. Slow it down a bit. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward All right, to Apollo's right behind us. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. Yeah. As usual, he did not think. Uh-huh. How long you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. So until we, we decide to rob something. Got it. Slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. And the horses. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Yeah. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. How much did we make? Find any other coaches that need selling. I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Uh huh. I can do discreet. <laughs> I'm heading back <laughs> to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Yeah, let's get back to camp. Oh, you, will you just cut us there? Because that'd be handy if you do. Not a big fan of fast travel. I think it takes away from the world, but if you're going to do it in a cutscene, I'm all for it. Save me a bunch of effort. Huh, beasters. There we go. Alright. Ignore the dragging sound across. Danielle's moving stuff around the house. Come on. There we are. And of course, the beast has to help, so there's that. Alright. Back to camp, home sweet home. Hello, ladies. Hello. Oh, cool. Made 82 bucks. I was gonna say, do I have to give anything to the camp? So we found the old Driscoll's hideout, but no sign of Combs. Well, so long as we're hitting them before they hit us. 
Oh, and that kid? He's all right now. For now. And I hate that music playing. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Who's calling me? One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. I don't even know a Mary Gillis. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. Okay. Okay, so somebody's been sniffing around. Uh, I don't I don't want to look at the ledger here. What I wanted to do was Ah I keep on hitting the wrong thing. It's that music man. It's just blaring in my ear. Put it down, Arthur. Put it down. Put it down, put it down, put it down, put it down, put it down. Contribute. I wanna see what I have to contribute here. Give items. Uh, we'll keep the watch for ourselves, but we don't need these two silver ones. Those are eight bucks a piece. I'm gonna donate the necklace. Keep that. Bam. There you go. I've done my part. Alright, now I'm supposed to go and check out this letter, I guess, at my campsite. No, don't need to shave right now. Just the letter. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. Better than mine. I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them. Uh -huh. I'm with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. You're right. Mary Linton. Okay, I'm gonna put that away. Well, that's something to think about. Uh, yep, she's now a mission. Well, we get a little bit of time. Why not? Lenny? Let's kill a little bit of time. Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? Do you? Oh, but for me, at oh, least no. six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So, yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment <laughs> yeah. of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. I used to be good at this, but I got a feeling luck, I'm not going to be. A dose of stupidity. Come on. You ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. Okay. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grave. Some nice. You liked her, didn't you, kid? Keep it loose. Okay, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. Now, What's mine gonna be? Watch. Bam. Uh, that's broken up top. It just says message. It's so broken. It's a timer. It <laughs> looks like A, Y. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. A Y A Y A Y A Y A Y A Y A Y A Y A Y A Y A Y. 
Cool. Now I'm good. <laughs> I wanted to learn dominoes, but dominoes seems to have gone. I wonder if that's a day versus a night thing. All right, well, I think we got a second to do one more thing. It's all seem rather complicated, to be honest. Hmm. Can we go to her or not? Or do we just call this one a short episode so I can get going with everything else? I think that's what we're going to have to do. So we're going to end this one here. I know it's a little bit shorter than normal. But hey, we do no offense now, and we've been stealing stagecoaches. So promise longer ones in the future. I just got some other things I got to get taken care of now. But that's going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed what you saw, we do try to get a video out here on the channel every single day. And we really do appreciate your continued support. But with that, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.